how about you? I'm Hank. Listen, I'm over here taking over. Just I'm just over here taking Gina's channel over. <laughs> over here taking Gina's channel over. We're out here today. I'm going to show you guys how to do Tonya Groove uh, sealer. So we got uh, brought a little Brad Neller with us here. We'll get that out. Got our 10 foot ladder. We'll get that out. But let me show you the Tonya Groove we're putting up, and then I'll show you how we're going to do it. So these are the pieces that we're going to do. They're 12 foot long. And so what, what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing a 12 foot piece and then a six foot piece. And then we're going to stagger the joints. So once we put them here, we'll stagger those joints. And then the next one, we'll put the joint on that end, if that makes sense. And we're going to, what they call blind nail. So we're going to take our nail gun and we're going to shoot... We're going to shoot the nails into the tongue portion here to kind of keep keep holding up. But I'll show you that when we get onto the, the scaffolding here. Not a very big section to do today, so but we'll get her done and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. I think the stain that they went with is kind of the whitewash look. This is the boards that you buy from the, uh, the, the store. And then we got it stained, prepped, ready to go. And that's what that's the stack we're going to be working with today. So let's get started on putting it up. Got this little three horsepower, I think it's three three gallon McGraw air compressor. We'll get it plugged in. Brought the nail gun, 110 psi. So that's all you need for something this small. You don't really need nothing much bigger than that. This is the Hitachi. I think Hitachi went to Mido or Mebo or I think they changed their name, but it says oil daily. You gotta keep these things greased and, or oiled. What I simply do is I turn it upside down like this. I drop some oil, the same oil that I use for compressors, not this one, but compressors. I'll drop in here and that will help keep it uh, lubricated. The second time we've been to this house to make a video, we loaded some dirt. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here in the corner. But this look at the view this place has. Look at that. It's on the big bay. Let's see if it's ain't that gorgeous. We'll go out there later. But just, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful house, beautiful view. Look at that. It's just outstanding. All right, let's get started. So they put those boards up there to act as spacers between the, uh, the top board and the, and the rafters there. There you go. But they nailed them. <laughs> they nailed them down. We gotta try to get them out. Can you run this chisel down? Can you run that chisel down it and split it, maybe? There you go. I think there's another one there. Yeah. Huh. There's another one right there. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yep. So these were just acting as spacers. All right, number two. Yeah, we got two more. Would be nice. Quick, quick. There's no good place to get hold of it, is there? Uh-uh. Gonna take the hammer and. Uh, there you go. There you go. Just get this. There you go. Yep, yep. That's exactly where it needs to go. There you go. You got it. Physics is a wonderful thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, one more. One more. Uno mas for my Spanish speaking friends. Okay. 
All right. And that's the toughest part of the job. All right. All right. All right. So you, when you measure, you got to measure to the outside of that rafter there. Our joist. I'm gonna put y'all down for a sec. So what he's doing now, he's measuring where the where the gap is gonna go, or the seam. The seam is gonna go. So 17.4 across. Then he'll come back six feet from that way. And that's where the seam is going to go all the way across. Well, it ain't going to go every other one. Yeah. And then we'll measure. Yeah. yeah. That should be 17. Oh. <laughs> I'll be able to cut that um, 12 foot board that what's left over. That'll be well. Right. I'll have enough to fill it in. So. Because when you're putting this tongue and groove up, you want to split, uh, so you're going to stagger the seams, but you want to split the seam so that you have some nailing space on the rafter. So don't don't measure to either the inside or outside. You need to measure to the mid, the middle of the rafter so that you have a nailing surface to nail on. When you take this measurement here, we're going to figure out what the center is, 97. And 7 eighths. Or 96 and 7 eighths or 97? 96 and 7 eighths. Okay. So we're, we're gonna measure, you measure that, then you come up here and you measure the same distance on that side, and then you make your center mark. And then your center mark will help you keep, it will help you keep your boards running true. So make a center mark on the, on the area you're working with. If not, then your lines will get all cattywampus. So now we're gonna measure this side, and hopefully it's 96 and 7 eighths. 97 and a quarter. 97 and a quarter. So, it's... Let's measure. Measure from... Um, well, well, here, how you offset that would yeah. be yeah. the gap. Yeah, here. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll piece up what it is. Right. Uh, we've added another... We've added another piece of scaffolding. Maybe it'll work a little safer. But here's what we're going to do, basically. 12 and 6, 6 and 12, 6 and 12, 12 and 6, so forth, and so on. The hardest part, getting set up. Once you get set up, you're good to go. Anytime you're working with cut wood like that, you want to square off the ends to get a true to true reading. Check your, to make sure that you <laughs> uh, yeah. when you're moving in. Yeah, you, you got to check your saw for sure. You gonna cut the end off here? All right. We got a little bit to work with. Yeah, that's right. Can you believe it? Staples, oh, the staples are holding it yeah, off. I got this. I do like that knife though. It's a Smith and Wesson, mm -hmm. and I've I've carried that thing for a long time. I've carried. I don't want to break it. No, you ain't gonna break it. <laughs> if, you, if you do, I'll buy another one. <laughs> now we should be able to get true. Okay, there you go. Lay it down. You want me to raise it up on the end down here? Yeah, that'd be good. All right. There's my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Always square your line up. And cut on the correct side of the line. So we're using this piece, so we're going to, we're using this side, so we're going to cut on the left side of the mark. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to measure and make sure it's squared against this side over here. To measure the outside of the. Let me give you this one. Is that all right? Sure. All right. Do I need to. Let's see. What am I on? I'm Mark. Need to come down some? Yeah. That's. Yeah, that's centered better. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be here? Yeah. Maybe. Bring the other one out. 
So this one was 93 exactly. Okay. All right. So now that other Ailiga. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it sitting like that until we get it set. What do you think? Cut the next piece, whatever the length is, and leave this here until we. Or should I? Because see, it's gonna start coming out, right? Well, let's see. Angle. Yeah, uh, that's right. So neat. Yeah. So you're gonna get 93 here. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Right. And then we'll know that that's running true. Yeah. No more market. That's uh, 91. 91? Yeah. You, you got room to go in though. Yeah, but two inches? So, we're, okay, so that's 90, that's 92. So you need to, so you need to bring that out. Let's measure it from that baseboard. From, from here? Yeah, let's do That's that. what we did. That's you what did? did? Yeah. And it was 93? Yeah. We can do it again if it was. Only reason I'm saying that is because Oh, did I? No, that's where I held it, didn't I? Oh, hang on. Let's see. 92 and a half. Okay. 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 So you might be you might be right. Might need to stick a nail in it to, yeah. to keep it square. And that's that's 91 and three. Are you 91 and three quarters? Go back any further. It's all the way back. Well then. Oh, I need to pull it out. No, something doesn't seem right. What's well, out of square? Way out of square though. <laughs> yeah. That was like. So what you do is you when trim, it's 92 and a half. You trim the back side of that. You trim the back side of that piece of board. Man. Yeah. Okay. But, I, just, I just gotta know. The back side of this one. That's correct. Yeah. So this, so I need to have this at, this was 91 on what? Let's do that one more time. Three quarters. Okay. So once we start, yeah. it'll be yeah. fine. This first row is the, the, the Yeah, it is. But it, how about, how about this? Because when you're moving it, it's pivoting. So I would stick a nail in it. Yeah. And then go measure the other side, then we'll have a true read. Okay, I'll see what you mean. Yeah. Because once you push that in, yeah. it comes out. Okay. You got air? Yeah. Sure. So go ahead and put this one in. Okay. Now let's measure the other side. Alright, sure. And that was 93, right? This is 90 and three quarter. Crazy. Yeah. I think it doesn't look like it. Where it doesn't. Gee. Maybe I nailed it, you know what? See if I nailed it in there and this is tapered, it's just not going far enough. Alright, so let me just tell y'all what we spent the last 30 minutes doing we took that board at the end of the board here on the edge of it we measured from there to that fascia board over there which is a uh, technically not fascia that header beam is uh 91 and 5 8 then we come back here and did this corner again the outside corner here and we measured from there to there to get it 91 and 5 8 so now each line should run true we'll put the next one up We'll put the, uh, we measured that already, it's 136 inches. Measure that, put it up, and we'll measure again. It should be 91 and, and 5 eighths. And then we know that, bam, we can start running. We're going to liquid nail this stuff up, get them nailed in, and we will be good to go. I, I, need, to, I need to caveat this by saying we're not, we're not professionals here. <laughs> we don't do this every day. So basically he's just squaring that end up over there and then we'll measure 136 this this will be the end that gets uh butted up against the existing piece that we've got on there now there go. 36 that gives us a quarter inch play underneath that underneath that ledger board Never cut towards your buddy, not your body. <laughs>
You got it? Let me tell you something, y'all. When we're doing this project, not only are we getting our steps in, we're getting our cardio in, our stretching in. My goodness. But this is this is the this is the tough row. After this, we're in listen, we're like Chris Christopher Croft or whatever, smooth sailing or sail away or whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's put this one up. We just noticed something when you're up here. Look down. Look about right to the left of where he's, where Steve is standing. You can see that that trim piece here, this bow in like massive. That's crazy. And then you got this gap over here. And so when you get this right here, what we'll do, this is board and batten stuff. We'll put this over here to, to cover it up. So we'll put this board and batten, the batten, uh, we'll put it here to cover this gap up, caulk it and paint it. But now we're square. All right, so this piece it, from right here, actually, from right here to that corner, 91 and 5 eighths, all the way down on this, uh, the tongue part of the tongue and groove board. So now all we gotta do is run them. What do you think, see? Yeah, let's check this next dimension, see how far we have to come with the board offset. All right. What we're also going to do is add liquid nails to the the rafters, kind of just help support it a little bit. Hey, got a better gun. Yeah. She lined up first. You lined up when you're. It can go back toward you just a little. Back towards me. All right, okay. That's all I got. Yeah, that was good. Now, if you want, I don't think I'm in here. I'm not. I'm not I need to get it on. I don't have a rubber mallet in my truck. Yeah, I know. All right, we got the first two rows done. Everything is square. So now we're gonna watch Steve fall off the scaffolding. <laughs> so everything is square. Now all we gotta do is just run them across here and uh, cut the holes out for the can lights. And we'll be done, we'll be done in two hours. <laughs> 15 minutes. All right, here we go. Let's get, uh, we're gonna measure the 12 footer and then uh, start our seams. Quick lunch break for us. Uh, so now we're going to take a nap and then we're going <laughs> to. 
But uh, anyway, for that, we uh, we went to the Waffle House. I had steak and eggs, and he had a hash brown bowl or something. So, yeah. go. Uh, but we you know, we don't have, like I say, we got a little more than, we got a quarter of it done. So, we'll, we'll get on the stick here and get going. We're taking measurements now for, to cut that out. He's made, he's made his half circle. Man, circles are always fun to try to cut in the planks, aren't they? But, uh, and we'll get the, the 1920 jigsaw out here. <laughs> that's when, that's when men were men right there. My goodness. That's a, that thing weighs 40 pounds. You want it up there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm not. All right. And then, uh. Might need to plug the yellow one into this. Okay, I got the yeah. yellow one's hot. That's what I want. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Probably a little too wide. That's, that's that's why they make uh, covers for. <laughs> that's right. Just lay it right there, cause I. Oh, we gotta do the other yeah, one. Cut the other one. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we did here. Let's see. Can y'all see that up there? Yeah, y'all can see that up there. All right. Let me kill myself trying to get on top of it. Wait a minute, Hank. Did you cut the wrong side? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we can see how. I'm gonna need to come back. It might not be close. Oh, it's perfect. Are you serious? Yep. It's going to work? Yep. Come on, man. I'm happy. <laughs> that old 1920 stuff. You need me to come over there? Yeah, we got to. All right. Does it go where it's better? Let me see. I'm good here. Yeah, I'm perfect here. All right. All right. Look at that, huh? <laughs> we need to drop that a little bit or no? Yeah. All right. Just, yeah, we'll do that after we get it nailed. Okay. All right. All right. Leg like a dog. I know. <laughs> okay, you need this hammer and this. Let me take it. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know. I was. Right. That board behind me is coming out. Oh, shoot. Right there. Come, come, come on this side of the light, will you? Huh? Okay. Can't hold this up. Oh, I see. I, see. I tell you what, I, I got, you got it. Yeah. You know, it's right there somewhere. There you go. It's up there for you. All right, but that that turned out good right there. Excellent. All right, because that's. What we were thinking about is see that metal, the the metal ring here, right here, it's resting up against the wood. So you can't pull that light down anymore. You can't pull it down because it's resting there. So that's good. It's like four and three quarter. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cut a big chunk out of it. It's gonna be just like a little sliver left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. All right, thank you. This is our 144 piece here. It's gonna come and it's gonna seam right here. And then the short piece is gonna come, but now we have to start notching around this corner. So I gotta get this measurement. And But we have to put something on top of here like at, to act like a ledge so that we have something to nail to. Which is, that's what he's doing now, but no no big deal. It's, it's we're all, I mean, we're halfway done now. You got your pencil? Yep, right here. And we'll liquid nail it before we yeah. send it. We don't need, I don't know, we need that glass light. I know. Uh, come right there. This is going to be another one of these. Oh, you can just mark the existing. I just don't know where to. Here? Yeah. Can you put your pencil on the, on the back side of it? Okay. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm talking about like right here. Oh. 
Maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right, Jeff. All right. If I hadn't mentioned this earlier in the video, Steve is actually a Virginia Tech engineer. So <laughs> that's why he's having to measure like nine times. <laughs> so if you went to Georgia Tech, you wouldn't have been having these problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Here comes the calibrated eye. <laughs> Four seven eights. Okay. Oh, you can pivot with that speed square right there. Oh. Put your squeak speed. Yep. Yeah. And it should have a. It should. Yeah, it, it should have a pivot, pivot, and then and it should have four seven eights on the. All right. You see everything is put up. The ceiling's not done. Uh, we had an accident, so uh, you know Steve is not here. It's neither. So. He, uh, unfortunately, we had a little accident. Y'all just be keeping my buddy Steve in your prayers. Uh, he took a pretty nasty fall. All right, she's done. The, the hardest part is getting the last piece put in. It's, uh, we cut it four and a quarter. And that way the trim will cover up the gap. And that way you have a uh, piece to, or you have a gap that you can put your crowbar under. But man, don't that look beautiful? Holy cow. Yeah, that turned out wonderful. It's a beautiful tongue and groove ceiling. All right, you guys take care. God bless you guys.